What is going on everybody? It is your boy OG Den. Welcome back to another video and today we are going to be seeing how my longboard performs with cruiser board wheels on it and specifically these are going to be the cruiser board wheels from my dinghy cruiser board that you guys love. Not only are we going to try the wheels, we're going to try the trucks too. We're going to take the whole thing, put them on the longboard, see what happens. But um, before that we got to drive somewhere and we got to remember how the board feels with its normal trucks on first. So with that being said, I'll see you guys at the spot. Everywhere I go, I stroll around and to the side. Ever so often I might fall over to the left and to the right. I never could hold on, no matter how hard I try. Stumble, tumble, fumble. Ah, maybe next week, and maybe next month. But now I know I'm no Picasso. But I feel like a blue soul Face twisted in my wrist soul From when I fell down the stairwell Yeah, let's try to make a combo Face first and the legs will follow Crash, bash, bash ah, Maybe next time after the next one All right, boys, so now that we have tried out how the board performs with its normal trucks on it, we're gonna take off the trucks on this one, put the dinghy's trucks on it, and see how it works. If I can ever get this gosh dang skate tool out of here. So this rain board actually has riser pads under the trucks, and I'm actually going to leave them on because number one, the dinghy has riser pads as well. And also this board is a top mount, and I want to make sure that if we're going to get wheel bite, it's not going to be as much as I would hope it would be, if that makes sense. So basically, I'm just trying to limit the amount of potential wheel bite because I have a feeling we're going to get some. One other interesting thing about these particular trucks, guys, is they are not reverse kingpin. They are normal kingpin. And most of the time on longboards, you wanna have reverse kingpin because it's going to help with stability and your ease of turning. But on the cruiser board, it didn't really seem to matter too much. So we're gonna have to see if the larger board is going to make a difference in that, or if these are just, you know, these trucks are just developed to work with cruising type of boards. Interesting, I'm not gonna say too much right now, but very interesting. Last screw, guys, and that's what the board's looking like. I don't know how I feel about this. Let's go try it out. Body's freezing as it starts snowing. The Midwest ain't the best for a nice rest. When you're falling on your face and you break your chest. Wow, child, trying to survive. But the winter, no, the winter ain't mild. You might say that you're pushing yourself down. And you're the only man standing in your way. And then you probably say you're drinking yourself drown. But don't you know it's your body that will pay? And I could say that you're crazy and a liar too. But in the back of my mind, I know the truth. I've had it, fanatic. I'm basically an addict pulling apart my heart. It's problematic. Yeah. Alright guys, it is time for final thoughts on having cruiser board wheels on your longboard. And I guess, I mean cruiser, cruiser board trucks and wheels, mainly the trucks. Here's the thing, these wheels are really nice. They're really grippy, they're really fast. I love the bearings in them. The trucks, they're a little stiffer than my other longboard trucks on this board. Probably just because I don't have them loosened enough. But the thing is, although it can ride really, really great and it's... It's honestly like pretty good at cruising. Tricks are very difficult because of the fact that it gets wheel bite. If you don't land this thing perfectly straight every time, you're gonna get some major wheel bite and it's just not a pleasant experience. As you can see by some of the tricks I was doing, it was just like I would land them, but then the board would just instantly stop because it got hit by the wheel bite. 
Honestly though, I am really surprised by how well it has handled this just because of the fact that they're so small compared to the other ones. I thought it was just going to be like impossible to turn at all because of major wheel bite, but surprisingly enough if you don't do any harsh pumping or tricks, you can cruise around on this just fine. I was a little bit skeptical of these particular trucks because of the fact that they're regular kingpin and as you know most longboards are reverse kingpin because regular kingpin boards are usually trash and they're just not very good but surprisingly enough these trucks work surprisingly well for cruising i felt like i had enough control in my turns that it didn't really make too big of a difference that they weren't reverse kingpin super surprised on that to be honest um and honestly they worked very well again i can't really recommend these just because of the wheel bite i wasn't really expecting to recommend them i just thought it'd be a fun kind of wacky video you know make some weird setups and stuff so uh if you want to see me make any more weird setup videos definitely let me know uh also comment down below did you guys like the drone shots because i recently picked up a drone if you want to check that video out right up here boys but drone is really awesome so it's going to be in a lot more future videos and it's going to be epic so hopefully you guys like those shots anyways thanks for watching thanks for tuning in you know hanging with me today watching some weird wacky skateboard testing video stuff if you thought it was fun hit the like button that's all i can really ask or subscribe i guess if you want anyways it's been your boy og den signing out i am actually moving to minneapolis this friday so stay tuned for saturday's vlog because that's going to be pretty epic that's all i gotta say for now i'll see you guys then peace out have a good rest of your day and stay safe, stay stoked, and stay awesome.